The new style editor gives you lots of different customization options. Using it, you can create a totally unique toolbar that suits the design of your website perfectly. To access the style editor, visit the Edit Toolbar page and then the Themes tab. Once the page loads, you will see a large Style Editor button. Click on the button. The page that loads will display an example toolbar with your website on the background. The top of the page will display the different Style Editor features. Let's go over them and find out which advanced features are available with a Style Editor. The first tab is dedicated to different styles. You can choose a general style through the drop-down list. One of the first innovations you see here is that you can choose between a toolbar with rounded corners and square corners. Clicking on the different style options will change the appearance of the example toolbar so you can see what it looks like immediately. Next you can choose the toolbar color. You can use an advanced color palette. The outer circle changes the color range and the inner square lets you pinpoint the exact shade you want within that range. Next, choose a shade for your toolbar for when a user hovers over it. I recommend making it something similar to the original toolbar color, perhaps a couple of shades darker, but of course, the whole point of the style editor is that you can do whatever you want. The final control option on the Styles tab is Opacity. Drag the slider to the opacity level you want. As you reduce the opacity percentage, the toolbar transparency will increase. Next, let's click on the Size tab. You can control the height and width of the toolbar in this tab. You can leave the toolbar at the default size. Choose Full, which will cause the toolbar to fill the entire screen from left to right, or create a custom size. The custom buttons will make your toolbar wider or shorter. Play around with them until your toolbar is the exact size you wanted. The same controls are available for the height of the toolbar. If you get lost, you can always switch back to the default settings by clicking the Reset button. Start over as many times as you want. The next tab determines the position of the toolbar. Your toolbar can either be aligned to the left, centered, or to the right. You can control exactly where the toolbar is positioned with the offset buttons. The same reset button is available in case you get lost customizing. The final tab controls the text styles for your toolbar. You can choose a font color, text font, and size. Once you're done, don't forget to save your changes, otherwise all your work will be lost. Want to go back to the dashboard? Click the Back to Dashboard button to go back and start adding applications to your toolbar. We hope you enjoy the new style editor and start creating your own unique toolbar masterpieces. Good luck!